Dear students, now we are going to discuss clap oscillator and its derivation in detail. Clap oscillator is a type of LC oscillator. It is a modified form of Colpitt's oscillator. Hence, it is also known as variable Colpitt's oscillator. We have already discussed Colpitt's oscillator in the previous lecture video. Okay? In clap oscillator, the feedback circuit is modified with one more capacitor C3 which is connected in series with the inductance. Okay? So, this is the circuit of the feedback network in clap oscillator. It has three capacitors C1, C2 and C3, one inductor L. Here VO is the output of the amplifier circuit that is given as input here. Then we can get the output as VF. So here the feedback signal is given as input to the amplifier to produce oscillations. Okay. Here the value of the third capacitance C3 is much smaller than the values of C1 and C2. So here addition of C3 improves the frequency stability of the oscillator. If we are going to make the C3 capacitor as a variable one, then we can get the oscillation in a variable frequency range. This is the construction of clap oscillator. It consists of two stages, amplifier stage, feedback stage. In amplifier circuit, it uses an active device that is transistor in CE configuration. CE means common emitter configuration. So in this mode, it can introduce 180 degree phase shift between input and output. So here input is base, output is at collector side. So this transistor in CE configuration produces 180 degree phase shift between input and output. Here the resistors R1, R2, RE. So this all are used to provide a proper DC bias to this transistor. Okay, CC1, CC2 or the coupling capacitors at the input side and output side. CE is the bypass capacitor. Okay, so next in this feedback circuit, we do have Three capacitors C1, C2 and C3, one inductor L. The output of the amplifier is given as input to this feedback network and the feedback signal VF is given as input to this amplifier. Okay, in this feedback circuit, terminal 3 is grounded with zero potential. Here the terminal 1 is at positive potential if the terminal 2 is at negative potential. With respect to this 3, okay, so if it is positive means this one is negative with respect to this 3, okay. Hence, the feedback network introduces 180 degree phase shift between the 1 and 2 terminals, okay. So, here we can have totally 360 DSR total phase shift. Do you all understand? So, the first condition of Barkashan criteria is satisfied. With the circuit, what is the second condition? A beta is equal to 1. So, for getting this value, we have to adjust the values of C1, C2, C3 and L. So, by adjusting the feedback network, we can get A beta is equal to 1. So, both the conditions are satisfied to get the sustained oscillation using clap oscillator. Do you all understand the working principle of this? Okay. That's what given here. The amplifier circuit uses an active device as a transistor in CE configuration. Resistors R1, R2 and RE provide the proper DC bias to the transistor. The feedback circuit introduces 80 degree phase shift between the terminals 1 and 2 with respect to 3. In CE configuration, the transistor produces 180 degree phase shift between input and output. Therefore, total phase shift in this circuit is 360 degree. Okay. This is the equivalent circuit of clap oscillator. It has amplifier circuit and feedback circuit. In feedback, it has C1, C2, C3 in series with the inductance L. So, this is the equivalent circuit of feedback network. 
The amplifier values are HIE and HFE IB. HIE is nothing but the input impedance of the amplifier. HFE IB is the output of the amplifier. The output of the amplifier is given as input to this feedback network and the output of this feedback network that is VF. This feedback signal is given as input to the amplifier. Do you all understand this one? Okay. So next we are going to derive the frequency of oscillation for this clap oscillator. This derivation is very very important one. For that we can consider the general expression for the LC oscillator. So this one is general for any type of LC oscillator. This has been already derived. We can directly use it here. Okay. The general expression is HIE into Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3 plus Z1 Z2 into 1 plus HFE plus Z1 Z3 is equal to 0. Consider this as the first equation. So this one is very important. You have to remember this general expression for LC oscillator. For clap oscillator, Z1 and Z2 both are assigned to C1 and C2 values. So Z1 is equal to 1 by J omega C1. Z2 is equal to 1 by J omega C2. The Z3 represents the series combination of L and C3. So here we can say Z3 is equal to L value is J omega L in series. So we can simply add plus C3 value is 1 by J omega C3. So here we have Z1, Z2, Z3. For this clap oscillator. In the next step we are going to substitute this Z1, Z2 and Z3 values in this first equation. Okay. So here we can get HIE Z1 value is nothing but 1 by J omega C1 plus 1 by J omega C2 plus J omega L plus 1 by J omega C3. So this is Z3 value plus Z1, Z2, right? So 1 by J omega C1 into 1 by J omega C2, 1 plus HFE plus Z1, Z3. So here Z1 is 1 by J omega C1 multiplied with Z3 value is what? J, J omega L plus 1 by J omega C3 that is equal to 0. Okay, so in the next step we are going to simplify this expression further. Here we can write this 1 by j as minus j. Correct? What is this? 1 by j can be written as minus j. So this term becomes 1 by j is equal to minus j. So minus j by omega c1. Here it is minus j by omega c2. Here it is plus j omega l as such. This term becomes minus j by omega c3. Okay? So next we are going to multiply these two terms together. We can get 1 by j squared omega squared c1 c2 into 1 plus hfe. Then here we can multiply this 1 by j omega c1 inside this bracket. Then we can get j omega j omega cancel to get l by c1. Here it is 1 by j omega c1 into 1 by j omega c3 that is equal to 0. Correct? Then we can get the expression as HIE into minus J by omega C1 minus J by omega C2 plus J omega L minus J by omega C3 plus 1 by J squared omega squared C1 C2 into 1 plus HFE plus 1 by J omega C1 into J omega L plus 1 by J squared omega squared C1 C3 is equal to 0. In this one, minus j is a common term. We can take it outside from the bracket. So this term can be written as minus j into hie. So this term becomes plus 1 by omega c1 plus 1 by omega c2 plus 1 by omega c3. This plus j omega l becomes minus omega l because we have taken minus j as a common one. Okay, do you all understand this? This plus j omega l becomes minus omega l. Then here j squared is equal to what? Minus 1. Okay. So 1 by j squared is equal to minus 1. So this term becomes 1 by j squared as minus 1 plus hfe divided by omega squared c1 c2. J omega j omega cancel. Then we can get l by c1. 
this term 1 by j squared. 1 by j squared is minus 1. So we can write minus 1 by omega squared c1 c3 is equal to 0. Do you all understand this? This expression has real term and imaginary term. So real term is nothing but L by C1 minus 1 by omega squared C1 C3 minus 1 plus HFE divided by omega squared C1 C2. So then we can write the imaginary term as minus JHIE into 1 by omega C1 plus 1 by omega C2 plus 1 by omega C3 minus omega L that is equal to 0. So this is the general expression for the clamp oscillator. Do you all understand? So the first equation represents the general expression for any type of LC oscillator. That is a common expression. After substituting the clap oscillator values, we can get the general expression for this clap oscillator. So this is very important expression. From this expression, we are going to obtain the frequency of oscillation and its forward gain. Okay. So first we are going to find out the frequency of oscillation. At resonant frequency, the reactance values are equal. That is capacitive reactance is equal to inductive reactance. At resonance condition, both the reactances can be cancelled each other. So in order to determine the frequency of oscillation. Frequency of oscillation means the resonant frequency the imaginary part of the second equation is equated to 0. Because both can be cancelled, then that imaginary term becomes 0. So what is the imaginary value from the second equation? Minus HIE 1 by omega C1 plus 1 by omega C2 plus 1 by omega C3 minus omega L. That is the imaginary value. We can use that value over here. So minus HIE into this value is equal to 0. Then we have to move this minus HIE to this right hand side to the denominator that is 0 divided by minus HIE that is equal to 0. Correct? Then we have to move this minus sign to this side as a plus 1. So 1 by omega C1 plus 1 by omega C2 plus 1 by omega C3 is equal to plus omega L. So in this side 1 by omega is a common term. We can take it outside that is. 1 by omega into 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3 is equal to omega into L. Then we can move this omega to this side. Then we can get omega squared L is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. Let's consider 1 by C equivalent is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. So here C equivalent is nothing but the equivalent capacitance of the feedback network. Okay. Then this expression can be written as omega squared L is equal to 1 by C equivalent. Then we can move this L to this side as a denominator. Then omega squared is equal to 1 by L into C equivalent. That can also be written as 1 by L. This 1 by C equivalent is nothing but 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. So consider this as the third equation. Okay. So we are going to use this third equation in the next derivation part okay next we have to find out only the omega for that we can take square root on both the sides so omega is equal to what 1 by square root of l into c equivalent value omega can also be written as 2 pi f so from this we can get the value of this f we can move this 2 pi to this side as a denominator then we can get f is equal to 1 by 2 pi into square root of l into C equivalent. So this is the frequency of oscillation for the clap oscillator. Here 1 by C equivalent is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. This is very very important formula. We are going to solve some problems in the next video lecture using this formula. Okay. Next we are going to derive the condition for oscillation. In order to determine the condition for oscillation we have to equate the real part of the second equation to 0. Okay. What is the real part in the second equation? L by C1 minus 1 by omega squared C1 C3 minus 1 plus HFE by omega squared C1 C2 is equal to 0. Then we can move this minus term to the other side as a plus 1. Then we can get the terms like this. L by C1 is equal to 
1 by omega squared c1 c3 plus 1 plus hfe divided by omega squared c1 c2. So here 1 by omega squared is a common term we can take it outside. So 1 by omega squared into this term okay. Next we are going to move this omega squared to this side as a numerator value. So L into omega squared by C1 is equal to 1 by C1 C3 plus 1 plus HFE divided by C1 C2. Next we are going to substitute the third equation in the above equation. Then we can get L by C1 into what is the omega squared value? 1 by L into 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. That is equal to 1 by C1 C3 plus 1 plus HFE by C1 C2. So here we can cancel this L term as well as this C1 on both the sides. Because it is also a common one. Correct? Then we can get 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3 is equal to 1 by C3 plus 1 plus HFE by C2. So here 1 by C3 is there. Here 1 by C3 both can be cancelled. Then we can have 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 is equal to this C2 is common for both the terms 1 and HFE. We can write 1 by C2 plus HFE by C2. Then we can cancel this 1 by C2 on both the sides. Then we can get HFE by C2 is equal to 1 by C1. From this we can get HFE is equal to C2 by C1. So this HFE is nothing but what? Forward gain of the transistor. Okay in hybrid model. This is nothing but the forward gain of the amplifier circuit. So A is equal to HFE is equal to the ratio of C2 to C1. So this is the required condition for the clap oscillator. This is also very 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 important one to get the condition for oscillation because the forward gain of the transistor is always greater than or equal to the ratio C2 to C1 for getting a sustained oscillation, okay?